Okay, so here's the um, short block. I'm gonna go ahead and take the wrapping off. I kinda wanna film this just in case. Okay, so here it is, still in the, uh, oh, it does have an oil pan, still in the bag, it's fucking oil everywhere, so I'm going to have to find a way to clean that up before I go ahead and completely take this out. Okay, so I'm going to try to take this out, because there's oil everywhere in there. I'm a little irritated at the way they sent this. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's drained for the most part, but um, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing out of here without making a mess on my sister's driveway. Okay, so I've got the oil pan off. Doesn't look too bad as far as metal shavings. Uh, maybe a little worse in here, but this oil pan is definitely not reusable. So it's a good thing I have an extra one. I'm gonna go ahead and take the pickup off as well as the baffle. And um, I'm gonna see how it is in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the oil pump and the seal, rear main seal off so I can uh, take the crank out and uh, put this thing away. That's garbage. This can still be used. And let's see. So the girl's on there. That one doesn't feel too bad. That one's okay. Maybe that one. Uh, I'm not sure this has a spun rod bearing. I'm gonna be upset if it's got a spun main bearing and he told me it was a rod bearing. But I guess we'll find out. Okay, so here's number two. Looks pretty good. Maybe a tiny little bit of pitting, but definitely not a spun bearing. Okay, so I went ahead and took the girdle off uh, just to give myself some space. None of those are spun. They look good. Uh, I got the number two out. Asked me why I did it out of order. I don't know. I just, you know, that was the easiest one to get to. Looks good. No spun bearing yet, so... I'm going to go ahead and take out the other ones and see if I can find this spun bearing. Okay, so here's the number three. Um, the bearing was loose, but it definitely wasn't spun. Um, so I'm not sure that's it either. Here's number four. No spun bearing. Um, I mean, that's just dirty. So far, all the journals look perfect um i'm really hoping that it is number four Did i say this was four this is number one i'm really hoping it's number four because if not then that means it's probably one of these two main caps 
and he told me it was a spun rod bearing if it's a spun main bearing and that is way different and I'm gonna be pretty upset so I hope not okay here's number four just as I thought no rod uh, no spun rod bearing so I'm getting kind of nervous here I'm gonna go ahead and pop the rear main seal off as well as the oil pump and take these last two main caps off and see what we got. Okay, so here's number one and five main cap. No evidence of a spun main bearing, no evidence of a spun rod bearing on any of these journals. The whole crankshaft looks great. It's just kind of dirty. So I'm really not sure what he's talking about. I'm going to have to give him a call and double check. Um, Maybe something else went wrong and he just assumed that it was a spun bearing. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to investigate this a little further and uh, make sure that it's not something else that is uh, seriously detrimental or anything like that. But for now, I'm pretty happy. I have four perfectly usable rods. All my mains are good. I have a perfectly usable GSR crankshaft that I might consider selling so yeah okay well the crank is out um like I said no evidence of a spun rod bearing or main bearing all main bearings are um, in place and intact this one this one looks like it might have been worn a little bit so maybe and I guess looking here there's a scratch on this one but not even deep enough to catch my nail on so it's not even yeah I don't know and as far as the sleeves go they look good I don't know if you can see that there's a tiny little nick here in this one um honestly probably from me taking the um the piston and rod out um, but it's you know that'll clean up with the overbore 281.5 to accept the pistons that I have so I'm not worried about that um, yeah I don't know I just I just find it kind of odd that I was told this had a spun rod bearing and there's actually nothing wrong with it so I'm gonna give him a call see what's going on um, I'm not complaining but like I said I just find it kind of odd so, um, yeah, we'll have a GSR short block. And so, like I said, all the internals from the LSV Tech will be swapped over to this block. Um, of course, first I need to send it to the machine shop and um, have the cylinders overboard. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and check everything with the bore gauge and micrometers. Uh, I will film it this time, so expect to see some videos on that. Okay, so I've got everything completely apart now. I cleaned up all the uh, journals on the crank and I mean they all look in pretty much perfect condition. There's some uh, small scratches on one of one of them, but it's not even uh, can't catch your nail on it or anything like that. It's just a, a visual. It's not, a, it's not even really a scratch. It's just, I don't know. Um, so I'm going to clean it up a little bit better, and I'm going to go ahead and measure it with my mic and um, see if everything is within spec. But after taking a closer look at all the rods, there's absolutely no sign of any spun rod bearing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take all the main caps off, clean them up, and inspect those closer as well. But I'm almost positive that there's no spun bearing at all in this engine. So I'm kind of curious what did cause all the metal shavings. Uh, maybe it was from the head. He sold the head to someone else. So I'm hoping that uh, everything's alright with that. But uh, we'll see. So this is just about what they all look like. You know, the tang is uh, still there. It's in good condition. It's not ripped off. Which, if the bearing was spun 
that tang would be ripped off it would be all mangled up um, the main cap is not all scratched up it uh it all looks good as well as like I said the journals on the crank um so yeah so I've got my mics out I've got my one to two for the rod journals and I've got my two to three for the main journals I've also got a lint free rag so I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe make sure that there's no debris on there that is going to um, my measurement and here's the uh, is it on this side or what? Uh, there's a little scratch I was talking about um, probably can't see it on the camera but you can't even feel it with your nail or I can't feel it with my nail um, so I'm gonna call it good I may bring it to the machine shop and see what they think, but uh, for now I'm just going to measure them and see if they are within spec or not. Okay, so on uh, my number one main journal, I am at 2.1, and my ten thousandths counter is in between three and four. So I'm going to go 2.1644 and main journal diameter 1, 2, 4, 5, 2.1644 to 2.1654. So I'm right at the lower limit. Um, and, you know, that could be the temperature outside. It could be my mic could be off a little bit. Um, it could be anything. Ten thousandths is such a, a tiny variant that it's hard to uh, get it consistent without a temperature controlled room and top of the line measuring equipment so uh, I'm gonna call this journal within spec okay and my last one uh, number five main journal 2.1644 as well that's just about what all of them were they were all uh, right there on the lower side so um, yeah all my main journals are good now for the round journal Okay, so I went from the bottom up. All of my, all four of my rod journals are at 1.7709, and the tolerance is 1.7707 to 1.7717. So all my rod journals are also within spec, as well as all my main cap, or I'm, at, I'm sorry, my main journals. So. With that, along with the visuals of obviously no spun bearing, and um, you know, since everything measured within spec and there's no scratches or damage, there was obviously no, you know, no rod knock, no uh, no contact between parts. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what he meant when he said it had a spun rod bearing, but I'm to call him and figure it out. So my next step would be to take the bearings out, torque all the caps, all the main caps back down and uh, take those measurements with a bore gauge and uh, double check make sure all that is within spec and uh, then it can go to the machine shop. Okay so I don't plan on letting this thing sit for too long but you know just from me taking it apart the other day I'm already starting to see some surface rust forming on the cylinders so I'm gonna hit it real quick with the glaze breaker um, just to try to take that off and then you know put some oil on it for storing it I'm gonna try to get it to the machine shop within the next week or two so it shouldn't be sitting too long but uh, just so it doesn't doesn't uh, rust any more than it really is I'm going to uh, do that real quick.
Okay, and so for any know-it-all wise guy who's going to correct me on the way that I'm honing this, keep in mind, I'm just honing this to get rid of the surface corrosion. I'm not finish honing this. I would never finish hone a cylinder by hand. These cylinders still need to be bored over 20 thousandths of an inch. So, uh, yeah, this is just to get rid of the rust. Like I said, I would never finish hone something by hand. I would always have a machine shop do it. So, um... Feel free to leave a wise guy comment still. Okay, so now that I know that this block is uh, good to go, I'm going to, uh, you know, within the next week or two, like I said, bring it to the machine shop, have it overboard, uh, 20 thousandths, so that way I can go ahead and start taking the internals from the LS VTEC block, or from the LS block now, um, and swap it over to this since I found today that the uh, rotating assembly for this that came out of this GSR block is good I don't know I might keep it and do something with it I might sell it so um, if anyone is interested in it leave a comment let me know maybe we can work something out I don't know I haven't completely decided yet if I'm gonna sell it or not I also have a GSR oil pump it's OBD1 but, you know, it's probably going to need a rebuild. But, you know, whatever. If somebody wants it, leave a comment. Let me know. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.